Well, just moments ago, this news has broken about the NYC Euronext and the Deutsche Börse. They are, in fact, emerging. And, of course, we've had uh, news that the Deutsche Börse is going to have nine board seats. The NYC will have six. Duncan Niederauer will become the CEO. And, of course, the chairman of the Bors, uh, Deutsche Börse is going to become the chairman of this new merged company. I want to bring in uh, Nandini Sukumar, who is in Frankfurt, covering this story for us. Peter Cook and also Sheila Damarajan are standing by to help me analyze uh, all of this. Uh, Nandini, can you hear me? Uh, yes, thank you. Okay, great. Uh, tell us uh, on the German side of this, and over in Frankfurt, how are they reacting to this deal? It's been there has been uh, concern that uh, that NYSC will um, assume control over Deutsche Börse, and at the same time there has been um, some pl pleasure that finally kind of Deutsche Börse, which has uh, had always had a larger market capitalization of its own than NYSC, um, seems to be in the driving seat. Um, Deutsche Börse, as you've mentioned, is going to get is going to nominate more board members, for instance. Um, the, the deputy CEO of Deutsche Börse, Andreas Preuss, and the CFO are going to go ahead and. and and assume those roles in the new uh, combined company. Right. There is going to be a press conference later today, um, and uh, we'll, we'll hear further detail uh, from uh, CEO Reto Franchoni. Uh, and are there going to be a lot of questions about regulation and whether or not this is going to pass through here in the U.S.? Uh, absolutely. I think there, there's going to be a lot of questions about the regulatory framework, both in Europe um, where, and, and in the U.S. Uh, the U.S., uh, we're already beginning to see uh, some of the concerns. Uh, and obviously here in Europe and in Germany, um, there is concern that uh, control or some kind of power will flow out of Frankfurt. The European Re uh, Union regulators will also likely take a look because um, the merged entity is going to have such um, control over you know, a large part of the futures market. Uh, they have a, a, a large share of pan-European pan trading right. um, and, and a lot yeah. of kind of bits and pieces. So I think we're right at the beginning of, of a fairly kind of detailed regulatory process. Right. It sounds like both sides are basically uh, concerned about giving up too much control in this transaction. The talk among traders, of course, is this huge merger uh, with Deutsche Börse uh, buying the New York Stock Exchange Euronext here. Now, a press conference on the deal is expected uh, at around 11 a.m. Eastern time. And, of course, this deal is a monster deal creating the world's largest exchange exchange operator. Now, of course, the goal is to really try to grow the derivatives business. On top of that, it's for both of these companies to try and cut costs here. This merger, this new entity, uh, is expected to save about $400 million. They expect uh, to save 100 percent of that by the end of year three. Uh, so I also want to point out here, Deutsche Bois clearly holding the upper hand uh, in this deal with owning about a 60 percent majority in the company. Deutsche Bois shareholders uh, will also hold nine board seats compared to uh, NYSE Euronex will to hold about uh, six there. So as Sheila was talking about, still we're waiting on a name on what this new entity will be called. Of course, uh, lawmakers in the U.S. here uh, have been calling for uh, the NYSE to have top billing in terms of what this new company will be called.